Let me say this. I am a firm supporter and advocate of bringing back the whipping posts from slavery. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. This is King Kong Consciousness. I believe we should bring back the whipping posts from slavery. I need some of my brothers to go into the old museums and get the whipping posts out. That's right. Or we can make some new whipping posts. That's right. Charles Barkley, I sentence you to 5,000 lashes for conduct unbecoming a black man. Shaquille O'Neal, I sentence you to 5,000 lashes for conduct unbecoming a black man. Richard Jefferson, I sentence you to 500 lashes for conduct unbecoming a black man. Stephen A. Smith, I sentence you to 4,000 lashes for conduct unbecoming a black man. Chris Broussard, Rob Parker, I sentence you both to 2,500 lashes for conduct unbecoming a black man. Michael Wilbon, you fat, bald head, no neck midget, I sentence you to 3,000 lashes for conduct unbecoming a black man. Snow Bunny Shannon Sharp, you're the biggest and strongest of everybody on the list, so I'm going to have to sentence you for 10,000 lashes for conduct unbecoming a black man and saying that no black woman can make you happy. 10,000 lashes for Snow Bunny Shannon Sharp. Who else we got on this list? Jason Williams, you're going to get 2,500 lashes for that bullshit you said about Kanye needing to go meet with members of the Untouchables. Bring back the whipping post, brothers and sisters. I'm dead serious. A community without consequences will never have law and order. A community without consequences will never have law and order. A community without consequences will never have law and order. A community without consequences will never have law and order. Candace Owens. Candace Owens. Candace Owens, I sentence you to 25,000 lashes. Candace Owens, I sentence you to 25,000 lashes for conduct unbecoming a black woman. Kamala Harris, I sentence you to 500 lashes. I'm going to go easy on you because you are elder, you are dignitary, right? And I love my, my AKA sisters. But you still got to get your lashes. So Kamala Harris, you're getting 500 lashes for conduct unbecoming a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Incorporated. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, we need to bring black the whipping posts. If we start publicly whipping some of these Negroes, I'm, I promise you, I promise you, if we start publicly whipping some of these Negroes, we got to get the slave whips. Since they want to act like slaves, we're going to treat them like slaves. We got to get the slave whips. We got to get the slave whips. Since they want to act like slaves, we're going to treat them like slaves. We got to get the slave whips. We got to get the slave whips. If Shaq want to be a slave, if Barkley want to be a slave, if Shannon want to be a slave, if Jalen want to be a slave, if Broussard and Rob want to be slaves, if Stephen A and Richard Jefferson and, and Jalen Rose, if they want to be slaves, then let's punish them like slaves. Get them to the whipping posts. I'm telling you, if we start publicly whipping these people, I'm telling you, put a whipping station in every black community. I just been suspended from TikTok for going live. I have just been suspended on TikTok for going live. I have just been suspended on TikTok for going live, brothers and sisters. Let me screenshot. Let me screenshot. Ah, did I get it? Did I get it? Wait a minute. Let me screenshot, brothers and sisters. 
I have just been suspended from TikTok for going live. And they just told me I cannot go live on TikTok again until Nat Turner Day, November 11th. I've been suspended from going live on TikTok. I've been suspended from going live on TikTok. I've been suspended from going live on TikTok, brothers and sisters. TikTok has suspended me. TikTok has just suspended me from going live. I'm suspended for a week. I got out of Instagram live jail 48 hours ago, and now I'm in TikTok live jail. I just got out of Instagram live jail 48 hours ago, and now I'm on TikTok live jail. I just got out of Instagram live jail 48 hours ago, and now I'm on TikTok live jail. I had 5,000 people watching me on TikTok. I had 5,000 people watching me on TikTok. I had 5,000 people watching me on TikTok. So now, it's back to Facebook and Instagram, baby. It's back to Facebook. If you can't see me on TikTok, go to Facebook, Dr. Umar Ifatunde. Go to Facebook, Dr. Umar Ifatunde. Go to Facebook, Dr. Umar Ifatunde. Or go to Instagram, Dr. Umar Johnson. Go to Instagram, Dr. Umar Johnson. Go to Instagram, Dr. Umar Johnson. Or go to Facebook, Dr. Umar Ifatunde. I'm in TikTok jail. Brothers and sisters, this is why you must subscribe to Dr. Umar TV. This is why you must subscribe to Dr. Umar TV. This is why you must subscribe to www.drumar.tv. But we not done, brothers and sisters. We not done, brothers and sisters. So TikTok has suspended me, but I'm still live on Instagram and Facebook. TikTok has suspended me, but I'm still live on Instagram and Facebook. What do I want to say? We need the whipping posts. We need to bring back the whipping posts because some of these Negroes need to be whipped. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. Kanye, have a, excuse me, Kyrie, go have a sit down with Kanye. And y'all need to get all retired black athletes and musicians on record. Y'all need to get the contracts of all retired black athletes and musicians. Listen to me, Kyrie and Kanye. I'm going to help y'all quarterback this. I'm going to be your revolutionary consultant. I'm going to be Kanye and Kyrie's revolutionary political consultant. Volunteer. You ain't got to pay me. You ain't got to pay me. Just get me some zebra cakes, some sweats ginger ale. A Philly cheesesteak. I don't want no money, brother. This is for the community. Just give me some zebra cakes, some swept ginger ale, and a Philly cheesesteak. I'm going to be your revolutionary political consultant. I want you to interview and get the, the old contract, like Kanye said. Kanye already spoke to this. Kanye already spoke to this. Kanye already spoke to this. Get all the contracts. Get Eric B. contract. Get LL Cool J's contracts. Get a uh, special ed contract. Get most deaf contract. Talib Kweli contract. Public enemy Chuck D. contracts. KRS One contracts. Big Daddy Kane contracts. Cool G. Rap contracts. Cool Mo D. MC Light. Queen Latifah. Get all the contracts of the old artists. And get all the contracts of the old actors, not old, I take that back, retired. They not old, they still rocking. Shout out to all the retired hip hop artists and retired black actors. We need y'all to get your contracts, get them to Kanye and Kyrie. We're going to hire a black attorney firm. We're going to hire a black attorney firm. We're going to hire a black attorney firm and they're going to evaluate all the black contracts, all the rappers, the singers, the comedians, the actors, and they're going to produce a comprehensive research report. They're going to produce a comprehensive research report and analysis that's going to say 85% of all blacks who signed on with agents and executives of untouchable owned 
publishing houses and movie houses and music houses were ripped off. They never got their royalties. They never got paid appropriately. They never got their true cut of the money. They never owned their own masters in almost no case. I want them to find the common threads through all these black contracts. That's right. That's right. And the retired rappers in the re Anita Baker. Go at who are the who are our old queen mothers? Gladys Knight, the Temptations, get all of their contracts. Get all they contract. All the female actors, Alfre Woodard and Viola Davis, get all their contracts. Get all their contracts and hire a legal firm to go through the contracts and find the illegal language, the exploitative language, and then show us how they consistently exploit and deceive black entertainers. Oh, yes, brothers and sisters. And then we're going to put together a class action lawsuit. We're going to put together a class action lawsuit. Black America versus the untouchables. Class action lawsuit. Black America versus the untouchables. For our publishing rights, our musical rights, our music rights, our back paid money. And we also accusing y'all and holding you liable for the death of Michael Jackson, the death of the artist known as Prince, the death of Whitney Houston, the death of Tupac Shakur. You're complicit in the death of Biggie Smalls, the death of Jimi Hendrix, the death of Donnie Hathaway, all of them. And half these rappers who are dead. Because I believe that the untouchables have life insurance contracts on 75% of the rappers who are alive right now. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We're going to turn it up now, brothers and sisters. Long live Dr. Khaled Abdul Muhammad. Long live Dr. Khaled Abdul Muhammad, brothers and sisters. We're going to turn up the heat. My rappers, y'all going to have to stand up too. Because all y'all in some bad contracts, y'all going to have to sign on to this movement. And it's going to catch a lot of steam. This is why I need Kanye and Kyrie. This is why I need Kanye and Kyrie to come together. Sam Cooke. I'm holding them liable for the death of Sam Cooke because he wouldn't give them the masters. Y'all got blood on your hands. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. I'm saying... I'm saying the untouchable community owes black America reparations separately from the U.S. government. Let me say it again. Let me say it one more time. The untouchable community owes black America reparations separate from the U.S. government. I'm going to say it one more time. The untouchable community owes black America reparations separate from the U.S. government. Oh, yeah. Untouchable banks, untouchable movie houses, untouchable music houses, untouchable life insurance policies. And once Kanye and Kyrie get all the, the murders of these rappers investigated, once Kanye and Kyrie get the murders of all these rappers investigated, once Kanye and Kyrie investigate whether or not these music companies have life insurance policies on their performers without their knowledge. How many music companies have a life insurance policy on their rappers and singers that the rappers and singers don't know about? How many music companies have life insurance policies on the rappers and singers that the rappers and singers don't even know about. How many untouchable owned music companies? How many untouchable owned music companies have life insurance policies on their rappers and actors and singers that they don't even know about? Class action lawsuit. Now, I'm going to challenge the reparations people. For all you reparations people out there, I'm going to challenge y'all right now. Y'all ready for this? All you reparations people out there, so-called fake woke YouTubian reparations opportunists, which one of you are going to put out the reparations package 
that the untouchables owe black America. I'm going to ask you again. Everybody claim they fighting for reparations. Everybody claiming they fighting for reparations. Everybody claiming they fighting for reparations. Which one of you reparations Negroes are going to put out a reparations demand specific to the untouchable community? I want to know. I want to know. Who is going to hold the untouchables responsible for their role in slavery, their role in the slave insurance, their role in building the slave ships, their role in owning the slaves, their role in life insurance exploitation, entertainment exploitation, Hollywood exploitation, athletic exploitation? Which one of you reparations people are going to put forth the reparations package to the untouchables? That's right. That's right. I would like to be a part of that. I would like to be at the negotiating table when we have the meeting with the untouchables to remind them of their Holocaust against black America. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? You actually had a Holocaust against us. Woo! Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Let me snap the whipping post for that, brothers and sisters. Y'all actually had a holocaust against black people and you have not been held accountable for the untouchable holocaust against African people. And it is time for black America to hold the untouchable community responsible for crimes against African humanity from slavery to the music industry, from the slave ship. To the NBA basketball court, from the slave ship to the NFL playing field, from the slave ship to the music contract. Brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters. I read somewhere. I read somewhere. Well, let me make a few announcements and then I'm going to close with my comments. Black Parent Boot Camp is going down November the 19th in Philadelphia. Any black parents who want to learn how to advocate and protect your children from the special education and psychoacademic holocaust against African people, against African children, go to DrUmarJohnson.com and register. Go to DrUmarJohnson.com and register. Saturday, November the 19th, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., Black Parent Boot Camp in North Philly. You don't have to be a parent. You don't have to live in Philly. It's open to African parents all over the world. Come to Philadelphia on Saturday, November the 19th, and I will show you how to protect your children. We're going to go through special ed, psychological evaluations, 504s, IEPs, behavior plans, interventions, the disabilities, disruptive behavior, psychiatric medication, Due process, so in the school district, everything you need to know. Philadelphia, November 19th, register at drumarjohnson.com. Nat Turner is next Friday. Nat Turner is next Friday. Nat Turner is next Friday, November the 11th. Friday, November the 11th. We will be in Nat Turner land. Get your tickets at natturnerlibrary.com. Get your tickets at natturnerlibrary.com. Get your tickets at natturnerlibrary.com. We're going to the movies right after we celebrate Nat Turner to see Wakanda. We're going to the movies right after we see Nat Turner to see Wakanda forever. We are going to the movies right after the Nat Turner celebration to see Black Panther Part 2. November the 26th, I'm in Atlantic City, New Jersey, on the ocean where they brought our ancestors in. November the 26th, I'm in Atlantic City, New Jersey, on the Atlantic Boardwalk, Showboat Casino, Black Business Expo. Showboat Casino, Black Business Expo. Showboat Casino, Black Business Expo. Showboat Casino, Black Business Expo, Saturday, November the 26th. It will be a black business expo and it will be a fashion show. I will keynote at three o'clock. That's November the 26th, Atlantic City, New Jersey, Showboat Casino. I need some beautiful African queens 
to come and pull that slot machine so we can get a million dollars to renovate the Frederick Douglass High School. I need a five five thick in the thigh queen to come pull the pull the slot machine. I need some good luck. I need some good luck. Where the queens at? I need some good luck. Where the queens at? I said I need five five thick in the thighs to pull on the slot machine so we can hit the jackpot and get a million dollars to renovate the Frederick Douglass High School. Where the queens at? Who pulling up the New Jersey Showboat Casino, November 26th, Black Business Expo, 5-5, five, five, thick in the thigh, nappy hit queens, gotta be nappy, gotta be nappy, so we can hit the, the lottery. I need a nappy queen, 5-5, five, five, pull the slot machine, so we can hit a million dollars to renovate the high school. Bronx, New York, December the 30th, I'll see you in Kwanzaa. Bronx, New York, December the 30th, I'll see you for Kwanzaa. Bronx, boogie down, Bronx, New York, December the 30th, I'm going to see you for Kwanzaa. Jackson, Mississippi, Jackson, Mississippi, we riding with you in the water crisis. We riding with Jackson, Mississippi in the water crisis. I will see you the first day of Kwanzaa. Jackson, Mississippi, December the 26th, I'm going to see you the first day of Kwanzaa. Baltimore, Maryland, Baltimore, Maryland, Black Baltimore, Frederick Douglass City, Baltimore, Maryland, Harriet Tubman City, Baltimore, Maryland. I'm going to see you the first day of Black History Month, February the 2nd, the first day of Black History Month, February the 2nd, Baltimore, Maryland. Please get Charles Barkley to the whipping post. Please get Shaquille O'Neal to the whipping post. Please get Richard Jefferson, Jalen Rose, Rob Parker and Chris Broussard to the whipping post. Please get Jason Williams and Shannon Sharp to the whipping post. Brothers and sisters, hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Brothers and sisters, hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Brothers and sisters, hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Brothers and sisters, hit the PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. Brothers and sisters, hit the PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. To my Africans and the Dutch Empire, I'm coming to Aruba. The island of Aruba. I'm coming to Aruba for all my Dutch Africans, my Amsterdam Africans pull up, my Rotterdam Africans pull up, my St. Martin Africans pull up, my Carousel Africans pull up. I will be in Aruba, Pan-African Conference in Aruba, the island of Aruba, December 10th and 11th. For more information, Dr. Umar Aruba at gmail.com. If you want to interview me for your podcast. If you want to interview me for your YouTube, if you want to interview me for your TikTok, interview me for your Instagram, interview me for your radio, your TV network, text message me or email me and we can schedule the interview. I will be on the Breakfast Club November the 14th. I will be on the Breakfast Club November the 14th. I will be on the Breakfast Club November the 14th. If you need to interview me, you got a struggling channel and you need King Kong consciousness to wake up your weak YouTube channel and wake up your clubhouse. If you want to interview me on Clubhouse, you can interview me on Clubhouse, YouTube, Instagram, podcast, TikTok, TV, radio. You can text message me at 215-989-9858. Text message me. 215-989-9858. Email D-R-U-M-A-R Johnson at Yahoo.com. D-R-U-M-A-R Johnson at Yahoo.com. As we prepare to bring this to a close. As we prepare to bring this to a close. As we prepare to bring this to a close. As I've said, the assault on Kanye and Kyrie. The assault on Kanye and Kyrie is about an agenda to silence the unapologetic voice of the American African alpha male. The agenda against Kanye and Kyrie is about all black men in America. They want to silence the unapologetic voice of the American African alpha male. We cannot let them do that. This is why all black men must be entrepreneurs. This is why all black men must be entrepreneurs. This is why all black men must be entrepreneurs. Because if you don't have a free tongue, 
If you don't have a free tongue, you definitely don't have freedom of action. If you don't have a free tongue, you definitely don't have freedom of action. So entrepreneurship is a requirement for revolutionary black men. If you don't make your own dollar, if you got to work for the white man, you not free, brothers. You not free. And this is why our athletes and entertainers will never be our leaders. I'm hoping Kanye and Kyrie change that trajectory. I'm hoping Kanye and, Kyrie, and Kyrie change that trajectory. I'm hoping Kanye and Kyrie change that trajectory, brothers and sisters. But the reason our athletes and entertainers cannot lead us is because they are too close to the power structure too controlled by the power structure and they have been made too comfortable by the power structure. I said they too close to the power structure, too controlled by the power structure and have been made too comfortable by the power structure. We have to lead this. Brothers and sisters in the community and on the grassroots level, we have to lead the revolution. Our ancestors are depending on us. Ida B. Wells calls to me now. Harriet Tubman calls to me now. Fannie Lou Hamer calls to me now. Mary McLeod Bethune calls to me now. Mary Church Terrell calls to me now. Anna Julia Cooper calls to me now. Frederick Douglass, Marcus Garvey calls to me now. Huey Newton and Fred Hampton, George and Jonathan Jackson, they call to me now. Little Bobby Hutton and Mark Clark and our Prentice Bunchy Carter and John Huggins, the soldiers of the Civil War, Nat Turner and Henry Harkin, Nelson and Travis and Cherry and Denmark and Gabriel and Toussaint and Henry Cristal and Emperor Dessaline and Maurice Bishop and Dean Kamafi and Kwame Nkrumah and Sekou Toure and Julius Nyeri and Steve Biko and Robert Sabukwe and Winnie Mandela and Chris Hani. They call to me now, brothers and sisters. This is about all African people. This is not just black America. This is not just black Africa. This is not just the black Caribbean. This is not just the black Canada. This is not just black Europe. This is not just black Brazil or black Venezuela or black Mexico. It is all Africans for every African and every African for all Africans. We exist to hate no one. We wish harm against no one, but we are unapologetically committed to the liberation, salvation, and elevation of African people. I said we are unapologetically committed to the liberation, salvation, and elevation of African people. Brothers and sisters, they want to paint Kyrie as a black identity extremist. They want to paint Kyrie as a black identity extremist. Chris Broussard actually used those words. Get him to the whipping post. Get Chris Broussard to the whipping post. He actually brought up black identities and black identity extremists. This is what Chris Broussard did. Chris Broussard. The same Chris Broussard who be on some conscious platforms trying to act like he down with the black agenda. The same Chris Broussard who be on some black conscious platforms trying to act like he down with the black agenda was talking about Kyrie and black identity extremism. Get his ass to the whipping post. 500 lashes, Broussard. 500 lashes, Broussard. They trying to take away affirmative action in college. The Asians are trying to take away black people's affirmative action. Ain't that something? And they're being financed by a white man to do it. It is a white man who is financing the Asian attack on black affirmative action in college. Y'all didn't hear me, so I'm going to say it again. Y'all didn't hear me. It is a white man who is financing the Asian assault on affirmative action for blacks at Harvard University and the University of North Carolina. Brothers and sisters, we must stay focused. We have to get serious and we must stay focused. I heard that Nike isn't going to renew Kyrie's contract. I heard that Nike isn't going to renew Kanye's contract. Excuse me, 
Kyrie's Nike contract. So Kyrie, you should get with Kanye and come out with your own sneaker or pick up where Kobe Bryant left off and come out with your independent Kyrie's. You don't need Nike, Kyrie Irving. You don't need Nike, Kyrie Irving. You don't need Nike, Kyrie Irving. Get with Kanye and come up with your own Kyrie's or pick up Kobe Bryant's blueprint. Pick up Kobe Bryant's blueprint. Kobe got killed for coming out with his own sneaker. Kobe Bryant was assassinated for coming out with his own sneaker and trying to start his own professional basketball association. Pick up where Kobe left off, Kyrie, and start your own league and sneaker company. That's what you need to do. Kyrie Irving needs to finish Kobe Bryant's plan. Kyrie Irving needs to finish Kobe Bryant's plan. Kyrie Irving need to come out with his own sneaker and his own basketball league. Kyrie Irving need to come out with his own sneaker and his own basketball league. Brothers and sisters, I hope you learned something today. TikTok suspended me until Friday. TikTok suspended me until Friday. TikTok suspended me until Friday. But it does not matter. Because the liberation of my people is so important to me. The liberation of my people is my purpose for life. The liberation of my people is so sacred a mission that whatever price must be paid shall be paid brothers and sisters hit the cash app dollar sign fdmg school hit the paypal paypal.me slash fdmg academy follow me on instagram at dr umar johnson follow me on instagram at dr umar johnson Follow me on Twitter at Dr. Umar Johnson. Follow me on Twitter at Dr. Umar Johnson. Follow me on TikTok, Prince of Pan-Africanism with a K. Follow me on TikTok, Prince of Pan-Africanism with a K. Follow me on Facebook, Dr. Umar Ifatunde. Follow me on Facebook, Dr. Umar Ifatunde. Follow me on Facebook. I want to see you Friday at Nat Turner Land. I want to see you Next Saturday at the Philadelphia Boot Camp, November the 19th. Nat Turner Land, November the 11th. And Showboat Casino, Atlantic City, Saturday, November the 26th. Black Business Expo and Fashion Show. This is your brother. If you need a consultation for your child or life coaching for yourself, if you want to schedule an interview for your clubhouse, an interview for your YouTube, an interview for your podcast, you can text me. International Africans, hit me on WhatsApp. International Africans, hit me on WhatsApp. International Africans, hit me on WhatsApp. 215-989-9858. 215-989-9858. This is your brother. Peace and Pan-Africanism.